update on Wish and DraftKings. Stay tuned. You really don't want to miss this one. Guys, in today's video, we're going to be discussing, giving you updates on Wish and DraftKings, okay? And the opportunity that we are getting right now at the moment on buying these two stocks. Now, I've made previous videos on these two stocks mentioning that they are good time to buy right now. It's a good time to buy right now in regards to these two stocks, okay? Now, before we get into our video, please like and subscribe to the channel if you find any of this information informative, okay? Remember guys, we try to put as much information on here but if you want latest information, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Investing OG. Okay, right there we give out plays, we give out information, we give out upgrades, downgrades, all kinds of stuff that might just help you in determining what stocks to get into or give you advantages in terms of what you should play, what not, what you not shouldn't play. Um, but with that, guys, let's get into this video. Also, right before we do that. Please leave your comments below. I like, I always reply to all the comments, whether they're good or bad, negative or positive. Everybody has their opinion, guys. I don't mind if, if I buy a stock and you don't like that stock. I don't, you know, it's it's your opinion. Like I can have my opinion, like everybody can have their opinions, okay? I love when you guys leave comments down there. I reply to them as soon as possible and I try to give the best advice that I can. Remember, none of this is financial advice. This is just, advice that I'm giving on plays that I'm doing, okay, that I'm doing. Remember, this is just me buying stuff for myself in the stock market. I'm not here to make money for anybody. I'm just trying to grow my portfolio and try to, you know, just like you guys, make more money in the stock market, okay? With that, guys, let me get into this video. It's Monday morning right after uh, opening. So it does remember it does take some time to get these videos out there. So that's why sometimes there might be a little delayed. But it's Monday morning right now, and something very interesting that has happened. Okay, everything fell down in the market. Okay, from Friday to now Monday, everything has fallen down. But I think it has to do with the new variant of yes that. Now I don't mention it because it's kind of like. I don't know what the hell's going on with you know YouTube and, and, and Google and everything just related to that. So I just wanted to show you, but it has to do. I think it has to do that. Well, remember, guys, a while back last year, same thing happened and market took a dive. Now you can consider these things happening, but you have to always keep in mind market is going to go down, but the market is going to come back up. And as long as the feds keep buying everything up, market's going to continue to go up, okay? This is just testing your patience, guys. The big dogs are just shaking the trees right now, trying to see if you're weak hands, you just let go of your stock, take a loss, okay? Make sure you hold on to your stock, especially the ones that we're, I'm going to talk about right now because I think they're highly undervalued at this time, okay? Now, first stock that we want to talk about is obviously Wish. And we've been in this since the low 13s, okay? And I mentioned then that there were certain levels, areas of support and resistance. Remember, guys, I've got, I've gotten lately, I've gotten a lot of um, messages on, on YouTube saying, oh, well, it dipped under 10. What do I do now? Oh, well, you said 10. No, you guys need to watch all the videos in order for you guys to find out the different resistance support levels that we've been mentioning along the way, okay? I didn't say... It can't go below 10. I never said that. I've always said it can go below 10 and then 920 was our next support level, okay? So I'm gonna go through that one more time right now, but I just want you guys to really focus on that because supports and resistance are like the main things you wanna keep in mind when you buy and sell stock, okay? You wanna kinda buy it right around the support and you kinda wanna sell it right around the resistance. Everybody has their own way of doing stuff, but this is just the way I do it, okay? So, let's look at, at at Wish. Now, today, Monday morning, July, what is it today? July 19th, we opened up, we gapped down overnight because of that whole thing I just mentioned, and we opened up right around $9, guys. Now, since we opened, we had a hard bounce up, okay? And right now, it's currently trading at 963. Now, what did I do? 
what did I do? I had mentioned that I was gonna buy more and I was gonna make, establish my position all the way to 20,000 shares if it fell below 10 bucks and closer to the nine low nines, right? And why did I say that? Because if we go back to this chart here, I have previously mentioned that we topped off here, resistance at 1518 that we couldn't get past, okay? We couldn't get past that level. Now, what happened? We dropped down. I started buying around 1320, okay? That's where I started buying because I looked at the support and I said $11, 1120 or 1140, somewhere around there was gonna be a nice support. So I said, okay, let me buy some. I didn't throw all my cash in. I just said, let me establish my position. Now, if it goes lower, then I will buy some more, okay? Now, we mentioned, we mentioned, and it's important that you don't throw all your capital at once. I like to divide it up like in threes or fours, okay? Because we never know exactly when the bottom is going to be, okay? We try to get an idea with previous supports, histor historical supports on the stock. That gives us a better idea of whereabouts where we can start buying or whereabouts where we can start selling. But we're never going to catch the bottom and we're never going to catch the top, okay? That's going to be too hard. If you do, you're just lucky. You got lucky. So, once the stock started falling from the 1518 all the way down, I said 1120 was a support. If 1120 broke, we would head down to about 1020, okay? As you can tell, we traded here in this area between 1140, 1120 to 1020 for quite some time. That was about what? About a week or so. And then we gapped down, we went down to this area, which is the 1020 to 920 area, okay? We have been trading in this area since 7.14, last week, 7.14. What happened overnight? We actually gapped down and we fell below the 920, 917 support. But interesting, what happened today was that at market open, Wish jumped up. So now it's currently trading in this zone. And if you look at this zone right here, it's a 1018 to 920 zone right here. 1018 to 920, okay guys? So that's gonna be a very interesting area to see if it falls below. Now, I said I would double my position if it started falling below this 920 support. Hasn't done so yet. It gapped down overnight, that doesn't count. It gapped up right at market open and it's currently trading at 961 guys 961 so we're in this level here now i will be looking as a 920 support in case it does kind of fall down but as you can tell here look at this rsi is pointing up um macd is about to kiss here okay so i think it's gonna have some more movement upwards okay i did buy some calls early today in the morning because i said okay at anything below nine dollars below nine dollars is a call buy for me okay and i'm placing the call calls out for leaps they're leap your options guys i've gone over these call options how to how to buy them how to sell them on previous videos good way of making money um when you can catch them very low you buy them and when you uh when they're higher up you can sell your call options when you have at least 100 shares of this this particular stock really identify your key support level i try to put it out on here and and they've been pretty darn accurate okay so i'm not i can't say it won't go below this 920 because it, it could always go down actually it could even touch this um 752 so if it goes below 920 now we're in the eight i would say the next support would be right around 850 and we break 850 then we're going back to test the 752. Now, what do I do if that happens? Do I get scared? Do I sell my stock? No, I do not. I buy more because this is a position that I'm going to stop that I already established that I currently have about 12,000 shares in this position. Okay. I'm aiming for 20 because that's what I said I was going to do. I'm highly convinced that this play will double before this year. Okay. I'm highly convinced of that. It's in a growing sector making tons of money already in sales revenue it's pretty it's a pretty darn good price at this level i would say remember this is not financial advice this is only my opinion on what i'm doing okay guys let me step into the next stock here okay next stock here is dkng now i had done a video on this previously and i and i, and I mentioned to you guys that i was i was buying 
um, call options, and I put that out on my Twitter as well. DKNG DraftKings, guys. And this stock today opened up same thing, similar to a lot of stocks. It was a huge red day in the morning, okay? Everything was down. Those are the times you have to get opportunities to buy some of your favorite stocks, guys. Don't get scared when it's low, okay? Do not get scared. Actually, just do the opposite. You get scared, you know what? It's time to buy. When you have that feeling of getting scared, it's time to buy, guys. Um, so what did I do? I added to my call options. So currently, currently we have... 50 contracts for the $60 strike, okay? 50 contracts for the $60 strike. Currently trading at 126. We are currently up over $1,000 on this position. I am not planning to sell this position until August because I feel that their earnings are coming up. They're gonna report great earnings. And I also feel that football season is gonna be another contributor to this stock moving upwards. I do not know why it's trading at around $42, $43. I have no idea why it would even go that low. For me, it's a gift and it should be a gift for you guys as well because this is something that I've spoken about before. This is a great sector to invest in, especially at these prices, guys, especially at these prices. Look, had a nice strong jump. Um, uh, off the $42 support, okay, because it, it, it opened up right around 42 jumped up, and today it really just took off, okay? Now, I'm going to let this play right. I'm going to see what happens with it. I think if DraftKings hits $60 by in any time in August, guys, this play right here, which is, has a current market value of $6,400, okay, this will make around $30,000 in profit. So to me, it was a good it was a simple investment because I think it was a pretty good, smart investment, okay? I just I just thought that DraftKings was super cheap, had a great opportunity to buy, and I said, you know what? I've bought, I've, I, I'm highly invested in DraftKings already. I, I've been following this stock for about two, two and a half years. I know how it moves, and I knew that this level at 42 was just a level that it doesn't, it usually just jumps up from, okay? Not to say that it can't go any lower, but it's just my opinion and that's what I've seen, okay? With that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you found any of this information informative, please like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments you have down below, whether it's negative, positive, I'll answer them all, guys. Thumbs up. See you on the next one. Thank you.